Halloween, the Kootenai Ice were scaring no one, stuck at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. But November arrived and so did two of their brightest stars. Now the Ice are back to their winning ways, with their sights set on a run towards playoff contention. In their way tonight are the Lethbridge Hurricanes, trying to snap their losing streak on the road. A Central Division showdown in Cranbrook, the Ice and Hurricanes, next on Chalk. Reinhardt moving in, Reinhardt holds, what a move! And it is poked off his stick at the end. Wow, looked like he was gonna go nose to nose and somehow it's just swatted off his stick at the very end and I believe it's a great defensive play by Pankowitz. Now it is brought in by Bozo, scores! Tim Bozo opens the scoring finally after all these blue chip chances. It's one nothing Kootenai. We'll give the assist to Hoffman for his shift prior to this, but we just saw Reinhardt do two toe, -to -toe or two toe drags on an entry previous to this, and then look at the spin. He knows where his teammate is as he puts it right on a stick, spins the puck. Tim Bozon off the far post and in. Great execution by Reinhardt and an even better shot by Tim Bozon. That's what's shaking things up. Normally you see Sheen between Jones and Jamal Watson. They've, they've diluted those top two lines a little bit. Watson and, and Jones have been creating some havoc in the offensive zone themselves. Reinhardt steals the puck, throws it in front, they score! Boson from Reinhardt again. Second time those two have combined in this period. And with 22 seconds to go, it's 2 nothing for Kootenai. Getting ready for the start of the third period, but before that, some highlights, and we'll have uh, certainly a couple of Kootenai goals in a moment. But you're going to start with a Lethbridge chance. Well, it's the it's by the best player for Lethbridge. As she, he dominated the period for Lethbridge, taking the puck to the net hard, passing when it was time to pass. But he played with speed and shot the puck more, so that's a good thing. And then look at the way Kootenai gets up the ice here in Zabrowski. This is an insincere effort at locking down the neutral zone by Lethbridge. Just too easy to play against. Zabrowski takes it 200 feet and takes it to the net. Too easy to play against there and then look at this groovy pass by Pankowitz he puts it right onto the net the opportunities came for Lethbridge here and we're back to action not only back to action we're back with a goal they dropped the puck prematurely here for whatever reason and we have to apologize because Lethbridge has scored a goal just 26 seconds into this period and so the Hurricanes are on the board and they are back in the game. And here's your look at the first left bridge goal, the shot from the point and the rebound by Cooper. Very Taylor Cooper with his fifth of the season. And it's a 2-1 game. And they score on the rebound themselves. So right back at it, the Kooky Ice restore the lead. We have two goals in the first minute of the third period. Well, what a turn of events here. I, I can't believe what I just saw here, Dan. And you look at the rebound and how good Robido has been up to this point. And we've got a lackluster shot, an easy rebound. There's a flyby again, and it's just a, it's a gift on the doorstep for Levi Cable, who goes to the net, I'm sure, unexpectedly, thinking there was a, a scoring chance. But a weak rebound given up by Robido, and less than a minute in, we've got a goal scored for each team. Minute to go on the four on four. Two minutes to go in the hockey game. At least regulation time. A 3-1 Kootenai lead. What a pass! Reinhardt! Stopped by Robado! Awesome goaltending by Lethbridge's Robado. And a fun flurry of action by the Kootenai Ice for their fans. Did I just see what I thought I saw? That is a gimme right there. Good gimme goes. Wow, what a display of puck movement. And then Sam Reinhardt has Robodo down and out and all the patience in the world. He holds, he waits. Somehow Robodo flashes the leather and surprises everybody, I think, including Sam Reinhardt. Wow. Well, and a beautiful pass by Bozon to get it to Reinhardt. The back pass, and you can see the Sam reaction afterwards. But here's Lethbridge, down by two. Extra man out. And now they lose the puck. The lead from center scores. And there's Bozon.
goes on for the hat trick goal. Opportunity shot wide by Reinhardt. A display of respect too, I think, from Ryan McGill as he's putting Bowles on out in a situation to possibly get that hat trick. Deshano scores from Bowles on. Three seconds to go. Five one. here with the extra man so much time and space as Deshano steps into this and makes no mistake I don't think Lethbridge is very happy about having to contend against the top line on the power play in a game that's already on a hand but two things on that Bozon's looking for a hat trick yep. and a high sticking penalty late in the game you don't really want to get a penalty that way and not see the top line come back out no you're right it's a good argument no question but all teams always take this as a bit of an insult when you got them down and out and you give them a kick late can argue both sides of that. Well, they've kicked them a lot. They, over the years, have an all-time record now: 70 wins and 41 losses, 17 in the other categories. And it's two very, very late goals that make the score look more one-sided than it was. 5-1, the final score. 48 shots on the night. Kuki getting three goals in the third period: one in the first minute, and two virtually in the last minute.